Hey everyone, my name is Brad Leitner and we're out targeting pre-spawn largemouth today. When I mean pre-spawn, I mean cold water. They're not even thinking about spawning yet. We're actually fishing 42 to 45 degree water. And a couple of key areas we found them in today, we had a pretty successful day, was little, little boat canals or shallow bays with grass. It all depends on what kind of lake you're in, but all these fish are moving up from their wintering holes, they're feeding, there's tons of bluegills that move up and they're all up here feeding and finding warm water, sunlight, maybe like drainage is key to your success and then figuring out like today it was very like you had to hit a boat lift just right to get a bite and you kind of had to leave it sit there and all the bites felt like nothing. I mean they're they're not very active, they won't move very far to eat anything. A couple of the key baits we used today was a chatter bait I like to throw this chatterbait on a Daiwa Rebellion rod. It's like a 7.3 glass rod. I really like the glass with the chatterbait. It kind of gives it, when they hit it, it kind of gives them a little time to eat it. And I pair that with a Tatula SV 6.3 to 1. I like to slow down just a little bit. Next is a must have it's a jig. This is a Cage Fighter jig by Outcast Tackle. I paired up with a Berkeley General little chunk. The secret in this cold water is to have a chunk that really doesn't do much. You kind of want it to look, you know, basically dead. I mean, it doesn't have much action, and that's the key to this cold water. I mean, in the summertime, when things warm up, I'll use a jig trailer with more, more finesse, or more like pizzazz to it, but not this time of year. And really slow down your hops, just move it very minimum. I've, now this is on a 7.3 Elite, just a multi-purpose rod. It's pulled up with 65 pound braid and an 8 to 1 to Tula SV. Next, something that always works really well is this wacky, a 4 inch wacky rig Senko. It's super easy, I just tie it on a, a 2 out little trocar hook, super sharp, but just kind of skipping this up and around all the cover, fishing it really slow, and you leave it sit there, they just can't refuse. And lastly, a must have in the spring is a spinner bait. I like the Bassman spinner bait. I like how compact it is, and it just gets lots of bites. It's made high quality parts, and it is a, the real deal in the spring. I pair that up with a 7.4 medium heavy rod, same thing, a Tatula SV 8 to 1, 20 pound floral. You take what I showed you today and take it out on the water, you're going to have a lot of success pre-spawn. Mm -hmm. 